I'm sorry, sweetie. This isn't quite acai, but it'll be close. Yeah. Alright, so I've got sun-dried tomatoes underneath the potatoes, which I baked. I tossed them in olive oil and basil and, uh, yeah, olive oil and basil. And baked them for a while. If they're sun-dried tomatoes, I'm going to add olives. And I'll salt these. That should probably be it. And then the pasta, which is pasta cooking. It has, I use the same spoon, so that's why there's stuff in it. It's basil mostly. There's sun-dried tomatoes, uh, garlic, pine nuts, and spinach in there. And that'll go with the pasta. And so it'll be the pasta and the potatoes, and I think it should go well together. I've never really done either of these things, but that should work, I think. Okay, the potatoes are done. I've added the olives and a little bit more basil and a little bit of salt. And then the spinach will go on the pasta. I've added uh, chili flakes and is that all? That's all. And basil. And then I've added olives to the pasta, which I wasn't going to do, but I did. Alright, there's the final. I added Parmesan cheese and more olive oil and mixed everything together. So you've got this guy and you've got the potatoes. So here's how I learned to make biryani or briyani. Um, Indians say it one way and Africans say it another way, it seems like. But the first thing I learned to do was to put the spices in. This is the rice cooker. So I've got um, cardamom, cumin, cinnamon, bay leaves, and it's in oil. I'm making this for American and uh, international friends that are not all going to be Indian, so I'm not putting very much spice. These are the chilies, even just the long serrano peppers. I learned to call them chilies by my Indian friends. Um, if you use, like, jalapenos or homegrown jalapenos especially, use a lot less. But this is um, not very many because it's not specifically for Indians or people that really want spicy food. All right, so I cut everything yesterday, and I just added onions and garlic, and I'm going to let the onions cook quite a bit. Onions have changed color. That's how you know when you can start adding the spices. And so I'm going to start with some, uh, this is Indian, like it's chili powder, but it's like Indian chili powder. There you go. It's a regular cayenne pepper thing. I put a lot in there. That was an accident. Um, garam masala. Put quite a bit of that in there. And then biryani masala. I'm going to put quite a bit of that in there, too. Alright, now I'm going to stir it up, and then I will add the rice, which I have soaked and rinsed as well. I kind of like wash it off. You really want to get your hands in there and rinse it off that way. And I'll put the water, the rice, and um, carrots and peas in it as well. Real pretty, but everything's mixed up in there. And I think I, I added salt. I don't know if I told you that. And I added a little bit more biryani powder masala mix. Um, I'm going to let it cook probably about two hours. I don't know. It's kind of, it's the rice cooker. I never know how much water to put in. I don't measure anything. So I never know if it's going to turn out. So I'm always really nervous, especially if I'm feeding other people. But I will let you know at the end how it turned out. This is what it looks like when it's finished cooking. I'll have to stir it up a bit and then I'll serve it with the raita, which is, I'll show you. This is the raita. It is, I'm going to stir it up a bit. Um, sorry, I'm not talking. It is yogurt and then uh, cilantro and pep uh, chilies, the serrano peppers, and uh, cucumber. So this is like a Pakistani version. Um, it, there's different kinds, but this goes really well on top of the biryani. It can either, sometimes I'll add a lot of spice to it to spice some things up, and sometimes I don't add very much so it like cools it down. But I try to balance them out so that together like you can have a couple different spicy level options. Um, but yeah, so this will go on top of that, and that's, that's what I'm taking for the dinner.